Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to find the angle of X and Y. These two values we need to calculate. Now how we will calculate in this case? You see here this triangle. Two triangle is given in this case. You see in this triangle X and Y value is not given. Only one value is there. We need two values, known values. Otherwise we can't calculate the other value. So, we neglect this triangle now. You see in this triangle, two values given, only one value is unknown. So, we, we need to consider this triangle. You see here 2540 is given. So, how you will calculate in this value? What is the uh, sum of all sides of triangle? All sides of triangle 180 degree so 180 is given so we will take this one is as a P so 25 plus P plus 40 sum sum means three sides equal to 180 degree so 40 plus 25 65 plus P is equal to 180. P is equal to 180 minus 65. P is equal to 115. So, you see this P value is, now we got 115. You can write it as 115. Okay, you see this one already studied in the ninth grade. This is 180 degree straight line. Now we got this value is 115. So 115, what you will do? This value, how you will get this value? 180 minus 115. So this value got 65. Which value is 65 in this case? You see, this full is 180. 180 minus 115 is equal to, we got 65. So x value got 65. So, how you will write in this case? x plus 115 is equal to 180 degree. x is equal to 180 minus 115. x is equal to 65 degree. Now, this answer got 65. This is 65. Now, you see two values we got. So this value get easily. So the same only. You see this is also triangle. You see here sum of all sides of triangle is 180 degree. So we will use this formula. So sum of all sides of triangle is 180. No? So 35 plus y plus 65 is equal to 180 degree. So, 35 plus 65 y plus 100 is equal to 180. y is equal to 180 minus 100. So, y is equal to 80 degree. So, this value is 80 degree. Now we got y is equal to 80 degree, x is equal to 65 degree. Thanks for watching this video.